What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to create and modify a text preset so you can create something custom for yourself and be able to use it for any project going forward with the click of a button. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy seeing these videos and you wanna see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating content. So first I have a few videos in my timeline and I wanna create a text template to be able to use with this SIL sequence. So first let's head up here to the layouts. You can see I'm in the editing layout. I'm gonna to switch to the graphics layout, just to the right. And then if you head over to the right, you can see the essential graphics panel. And you notice there's a bunch of preset text and graphics templates. And I've previously done a video regarding this topic, which I'll link to the top to the right. But this video is not about pre-made templates. It's about how to create your own, customize it, and save it as a template. So I'm going to start with a basic one. So you can create these from scratch, or you can use an existing template, modify it, and then resave it as your own. So let's just take this basic lower third I have here. I'm going to drag it down over the top of this clip. So I'm gonna click on this to highlight it so we can edit it. So you can come up here and it just has a basic your name, a second line, you can create whatever you want. So for this, I'm just gonna type in my YouTube channel. And then the second will go down here and we'll just place vlog number one. So you can come over here and you can double click here. It'll highlight my name if you like. And let's just say we wanna change the text. We'll do something a little thicker. Let's just say we want to add an underline. Let's say we want to change the color. Let's make it a let's make it a yellow. So we have that. And then let's go to the next one, the vlog. Click here so it highlights it all, or you can come up here and double click up here. So let's just say we want to make this a little bit bigger. And we want to move it. We'll grab the selection tool. We'll move it down. But on this, let's say we want to add a uh, shadow. So now you've modified this. This is clearly different, different font, different color, different size. So now you've made this pre-made text template. You've kind of customized it and made it your own. And let's just say you're doing a documentary and you have 16 different areas where you want to use the exact same font, the exact same color, everything, but maybe you want to change the name because you're doing interviews with different people, but you want to keep everything exactly the way it is as far as color, font, size, positioning. You can create this as a preset. So I'm gonna go back here to the browse function and you're gonna see this is just that standard one that had the white same size that just says your name here. If I come down here to the modified version that I have, I'm gonna right mouse click and I'm gonna click up here that says export as a motion graphic template. I'm gonna click on that and you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna say vlog one temp. Come down here, click okay. So it's gonna create this. And then now if you notice here to the right, it moved this basic lower third that was created by Adobe and you can see now there's this new one. So if I go and delete this and come up here and grab this, vlog number one temp, I'm ready to go with the exact same font, color, size, everything I wanted. And then of course I can click on here and or come up here and type in whatever you want. So let's just say you finish your product, you finish your documentary, whatever it may be, and you wanna delete that because you're not gonna use that again. That was just for that specific project. You just hover over this to the right click right mouse and then come over to delete and it's just going to double check to make sure you're not making a mistake click ok now that's going to disappear they're going to have the standard one that was the preset and then you can come and just delete it now that's something we did with a pre-existing template and then we just modified it but you can also just create your own and do the exact same thing so let's now create our own from scratch let's just grab our text tool we can come over here and just type in the middle So you can tell it still has that preset from before from the yellow with the underlining, but we can always change that. Kind of click here until all of it turns red, or I can come up here and click on the name and it'll activate it. Let's just say we'll make this a little bit bigger. Let's change the color. We'll go to a deep red. We'll take away the underline. Once again, we'll click on that and make it larger. None of this looks good. I'm just doing this for examples. Okay, let's just say that's what we want. That's the place and we want. Let's say we actually want to move the vlog above. Come down here. We can right mouse click this. Do the exact same thing. Export as a motion graphic template. We can title it. Let's just title it test temp. Click OK. And then if we head back over here to the browse, we're going to see the original that came with Adobe. And then now you're going to see the new test template that we just created, not from modifying an existing template, but just doing our own. And then we come down here. Let's just say we delete this and we're at a different section of our, our documentary or whatever it may be. Say we want to do the exact same thing here. We can come up to the uh, template that we created ourselves, drag and drop. And then now we have that there. And then once again, if you want to delete that, just come over here to the right. Say the project's done. You can right mouse click, delete. 
it is gone. You can create tons of these if you want to do a bunch of lower thirds or if you want to do establishing titles for different locations or whatever it may be. You can create these text templates to use quickly in multiple areas. Or if you have a vlog series on YouTube or whatever it may be and you have the exact same intro, the exact same title, the same shape, the same size, everything, just save a preset. It'll be locked over here in the browse section. So every time you have a new new vlog, if you want the title opener, grab, drag and drop, you're good to go. Anyway, hope this helped. And if it did, please give a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later. Later.